Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Atlanta Brick Co. store tour. What day is it today, Joe? Is it Friday? It turns out. I thought it was Thursday. I legit thought it was Thursday coming in this morning. All the days this week, I've been like ahead. So now I didn't even know what today was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I thought it was. Some Wednesday days are just a little. Thursday. Thursday, I thought it was Thursday. And then yeah, today, I thought it was Thursday. So I think it's just Thursday. It's Thursday, black hole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it is Friday. I checked the calendar a couple of times to make sure. Yeah, so it's a fl- Friday store tour. We're going to walk around, check out all the cool stuff, answer questions. Feel free to drop a like. Thank you guys for joining. We have a lot of our friends here today. So, I mean, let me scroll through. these. We've already got like 100 comments. we got Dawson, Grump J, Brad P, Geology Joe, Sarah Bowman, Travertine, a bunch of our friends. There's Chris hey. wearing his Hawaiian shirt. So, uh, next Friday, Mark's mm-hmm. got the day off. Oh, because Daniel's going to do the live stream from Brickworld Chicago. Right? Yes, he is. I believe so. It's already only a week away. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that snuck up on me, too. I was like, okay. I have a day off? What? Yeah, no, that's right. So yeah. he'll be covering the world's largest Lego convention here at Atlanta Brickco TV. It's going to be super yes. cool. So. Because we did that last year, I think, and it was pretty exciting as well. So, yeah, definitely tune in next Friday for that stream. You won't want to miss it. Yeah, so very cool. But yeah, bunch of our friends here: Lemur Bricks, Nixus to Zach, Sam Williamson, and uh, Stevens here. There's Morgan as well. Will Lamb. Look at close up on my face. I'm just getting really close. I want to see the detail on that Hawaiian shirt here. Hawaiian shirt for the looks great. Hawaiian shirt Friday. Uh, pretty much, pretty much every all the cool people got Hawaiian shirts. What, what's up with you, Joshua? What do it? This is my first Friday. Oh! Here for a year. My <laughs> brother's been wearing Fridays for a while, but guess what? He conveniently did not tell me. Oh, do you have a Hawaiian shirt to wear, though? Yeah, okay. It's an amazing one. It's got cactus on it. It's like green. It's amazing. Bro, well. And he just didn't tell me. You didn't tell your brother about oh, Hawaiian shirt Friday? Gross. What's that? Come on, Ben. <laughs> well, thank you, Joshua. Next Friday, he'll be ready to go. Uh, but first, before we get started, I have a gift to give Steven. This was in my uh, office, and I have no idea where it came from, but it, I think it belongs in your build. So there it you go, really Steven. Doesn't. <laughs> this is the most cursed is looking. Doing, like horse gymnastics on a sheep? <laughs> I don't know. That is the freakiest. That's sheep the scariest looking non-Lego ever. sheep I've ever seen. Like it's staring into your soul. <laughs> yeah. That oh is my goodness. Weird. Anyway, uh, thank you. You're welcome, Steven. Yes. But yeah, and uh, Stephen, what 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 is going on here? Oh, it looks great. I'm extending this for the Lego City. I actually finished Jersey Mike's recently, so mm-hmm. this is actually a really nice little. Set. This is mostly a set, right? It's mostly a set. So I'm gonna try and you know replicate some more of it on this side, get that L shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other building was kind of you know. Bleh. Yeah, we were both having trouble with that corner building. Yeah, it's a weird shape, but this is perfect for a 16 by 16, and then this is a 10. Mm-hmm. Then we'll just have that run and no problem. So, yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks, So Check out the city. The Jersey Mike's is done. Oh, Jersey Mike's is done? We'll go check yeah, out the city then. We might start with that, but we'll get on to the request soon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that might have been a Belleville figure. might have been a non-Lego figure. I don't know. I, it was... <laughs> Steven says, I don't think it's Belleville. Yeah, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we are... It's another busy Friday here. A lot of customers. We'll try not to get in anyone's way as we weave through to see all the cool stuff. Let's hit the lights really quick. Build the Waffle House. Uh, you are so right, Sam Williamson. That is a must, must have. Oh, look at that. Steven spruced up that Jersey Mike's building, and it looks great. So that is there and ready to go. Uh, do you have Spider-Man 2099? Um, we've had a custom one before. Ethan, we can check on that. Yeah, the Jersey Mike's looks good. Let's see, Spider Man 2099. And they didn't make a Lego one yet, did they? Or did they? I don't know. There's Spider Man UK, and there is a version of Spider Man 2099. It doesn't look quite the same as the one in the Across the Spider Verse, but there's a number of spider figures up on that top row. If you look up our custom minifigures on atlbook.com, you can find more too. Looks like a lot of adults in the store today. Yes, there's plenty of kids and adults shopping today. It's a busy day at Atlanta Brick Co. There's some more of our spider people characters here. Bunch of different options. There's a bunch of Aunt Mays. It's great. A sub shop. Do you have a Padawan Anakin Skywalker? Because mine broke. We can check on that, Grant. Padawan Anakin. And I saw another request for Transformers Kriya, which I don't think we have, but we'll double check for you, Dawson. Good to see you, Dawson. 
Jack Stone, Technic Figs, Fabuland, non minifigure minifigures that aren't mini dolls or duplicate. Gotcha. Um, yeah, we have some Fabuland figures for sure, but I don't know if we have the other ones around. Let's see, Anakin, Anakin, Anakin. There's an old school Anakin over there with his. Uh, he still got his Padawan um, little ponytail. There's one here. He's sixty dollars for that one though. That's pretty pretty expensive. So we do have a couple versions, older, harder to find versions, and I'm sure you can find all of the Anakin versions on our website, atlbrook.com. So look there. We got them here as well in this this first couple of rows. So Mark got the dog rescue van today. Oh, that's a good set, Lemur Bricks. I like it. Old man likes Lego. Says afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Emmy on YouTube says slay. I love it. Sandwiches, how I miss carbs. Oh, yeah, Nexus, you're on a diet, aren't you? That's that's uh, unfortunate. It's good for you, but it's just a tough time. I, I can understand. Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, so uh, uh, Jersey Mike's is a, is a popular restaurant chain here in the United States that serves nice sub sandwiches. I actually do like their um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Those are pretty good. Um, let's see. Any other requests? We were looking um, castle figures too. I think uh, Henry was asking me about these. So. Um, yeah, Our, um, pirates castle ninja shelf. So lots of good castle sets here. I keep coming back to that Willow the Witch's dragon uh, air chariot thing. It's just hilarious. So. There's a few short videos of it on my channel, Joe. Joe, there you go. Mark, you torture me. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Is like, I can go over and look at the Lego food items if that helps you. Oh, GoPro is here. Have no fear. The goat is here. I like it. I like it. Um, there's some pirates going on. There's some cool pirate sets here. There's some rock raiders hiding back there, too. A little bit of Western for Will Lamb. They just got the carriage and the bank still left over. But not any new Western that I can see other than that. So. Joseph Marino says, hello from Orlando. Good to see you, Joseph. Thank you for joining us. Needs some inspiration for Fright Night's mock. I think anything with dragons, skeletons, Will the Witch, or Basil the Batlord will work for that, for sure. Challenge, find a non Nexonite set and start roasting it. Oh, that's a good, uh, let me find, oh, hold on. I think I got one. I got one. I got a set to roast. We're actually going to be uh, doing a worst Star Wars set video. And, and that's really hard to do because most Star Wars sets are awesome. But the one that uh, definitely uh, was the <laughs> considered the worst of the worst Star Wars sets is unfortunately buildable Jin Urso. Because uh, she, it's just an odd look. And uh, her, she wasn't a sergeant in the uh, Rogue One movie. I don't think she actually appeared with the hat and goggles in the movie either. That was just a, um, a uh, concept art. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's still available. You can still find it on uh, clearance shelves around the country. And uh, it's it's a whopping $14.99. So it's, you know, it's a tremendous deal for 100 parts. I think this is a, a must-have for any Rogue One collector. So, <laughs> yeah, one of the... the the, the most amazingly, bafflingly worst Star Wars sets ever. And w worst Lego sets ever, honestly. I'm in the Orlando Brick Co. store, though. Oh, there you go. We're putting them on the racks right now, Emmy. Yeah, the, the figures. That's awesome. Is that Joey? Or is it just Joe? Oh, Brick Aesthetic says, hello from Orlando. There you go. How much is the El Dorado Fortress? Ooh. Um, we can check on that. El Dorado Fortress. There was one over in Pirates, maybe? I'm trying to remember where it was last seen. Oh, yeah, there's one up here. It's hiding over here. Yeah, that's Joey. All right. So we got El Dorado Fortress here. Looking really good. It has all the original figures. That one has blue arms. That doesn't look correct, but the rest of them look good. Um, that one's going to be... Four ninety nine, so five hundred dollars for this bad boy. Looks like it's pretty complete. It might be missing one or two pieces over here. I'm just seeing a, like a little pillar piece missing there. The doors are there. Cannons here. Boats are here. 
Governor figure looks great. Very cool set. 20% off because it's built as is in the case. So that's pretty cool. There's a fun set hiding up there too. Like those uh, Chinese New Year sets have some really great pieces. Do you have the Justice League Flash figure in stock? And can you show the other figures from that line? We can, GoPro. That's a good request. I heard the Flash movie was dropping either... Was it this weekend? Is it already out? Or is it next weekend? I was the one on the morning break a couple weeks back. Yep, that's Joey. I call him Joey because we've already got a Joe. So if we had Joe and Joe, it would be a lot of Joes. So Joey. And apparently Joey's okay with that nickname. So. Next weekend. Good to know. Yeah, we've got a couple versions of the Flash right there. Unfortunately, the price tags are obscured by the the Superman capes. So I can't see. But they're like, oh, thank you. Caitlin's got the keys ready. I can inspect more closely. There's also some Aquaman. <clears throat> Barbara Gordon. So the regular Flash is only $14.99, which isn't too bad. The Justice League Flash is $40, which is a, a quite a bit more collectible pricing there. And then the Mighty Micros Flash is $9.99, so pretty affordable. You know what you can do? The Mighty Micros Flash, just give him a regular pair of red legs, and he's another version of the Flash. It's awesome. Yeah, you got Supergirl, Robin, lots of Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and a uh, whole bunch of DC characters here. So, And they're all on the website, I believe. I think Vogan and uh, Joe have added those on there. So check them out. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. Emmy, you going to the opening? Yes, I am coming to the opening. There you go. I'm hoping to be there, too. We might do a live stream or something. Because if we do a live stream then anybody who's not able to physically be there for the grand opening could still attend on a live stream. Kind of like if you can't make it to Brickworld this year, you can watch the live stream on our channel. So that's pretty nice. So. And if you are welcome to take my classes, I teach online. Oh, there we go, Geology Joe. That, that's super tempting. I've always wanted to know about, more about geology and archaeology. Justice League Flash is one of the figs I need to get when I come to the store next time. There you go. In case anyone missed the uh, morning break, Chris came out and said it's now pushed back to maybe mid-July. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit further back than we're expecting. Apparently, it's hard to get the permitting and uh, licenses from the local government. It's just taking a while, as you know, you know, government usually does. So it might be a little bit while before we are able to get everything set up. So. Frank comments from Facebook saying, do you sell any Lego display signs that light up? Um, typically not. We have a couple in the store, like that Spider-Man one. We got Star Wars, Minecraft, and I think even Nexonites. Chris went out of his way to light up the Nexonite one for me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we sell them, though. And they would be pretty expensive because they I think they did come from Toys R Us stores with the exclusive instructions to destroy them instead of get rid of them. So they're hard to find. but. Um, send us an email if you're very interested. You never know. So hit us up at info at atlbrick.com. You never know. It's worth asking. Everything's technically for sale in here. So Tegan is here. Hello, Mark just got up. Thank you for joining, Tegan. I know it's a drastically different time in New Zealand. We appreciate you joining us. We've got a number of international viewers today. It's great. So. There's uh, the fabulous ATOT landed next to the Saturn V and the ATAT for scale. That is a super cool build and mechanism. It's very expensive though. It's $1,300 for this uh, contraption. So we got this one and the one in the box over there too. So. For those who may not know, OBC is technically in Longwood, Florida, not in Orlando proper. Yeah, it's not downtown Orlando. It's kind of outside of town. The same way that Atlanta Brickco is actually technically in Noonan, Georgia, even though we call ourselves Atlanta Brickco. Oh, Emmy sneaking by the camera. Doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> Let's look at the top uh, shelf here with all the 
great, cool, big, expensive sets. Over on the left, we have the Coliseum. We've got the train station, motorized excavator. The ghost has made its way back up there. It's a pretty good set to see. And that one is certified complete. Uh, ben, do we have a price on the ghost up there? Do we know what that is? Sorry to disturb your work. But 700 for the certified ghost. It's good to know. There's been talk about a possible ghost set coming out for the release of the new show. So you might be able to get a ghost more affordably in the future. Whether or not it'll be the same size or as good as this one, we'll see. If we get another one. It's still a big if. Um, you got Hogwarts Castle. You got the Assault on Hoth. That's a UCS set. That also made our uh, worst Star Wars set uh, light up, unfortunately, just because we think it's not the best UCS set. So you can see more of our thoughts on Between the Studs later. That's going to come out not this weekend, but next weekend. I'm down with OBC. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> I missed last week because I was working, but this week I'm off because I'm on vacation now. Next week, I'll miss all the streams. Oh, no, Will then. Well, hey, working is good, too. You earn that money, you can get more Lego. That's what I've learned when I was a kid. <laughs> so <laughs> the more you work at your job, the more money you get, technically. Usually. You got the uh, Imperial Trading Post up there. Malastare is does not like that set, but it is really cool. Those purple boxes, very nice. Got a few more uh, pirates. This is on the red coat ship, uh, pirate ship, a couple pirate outfits. Yeah, Malastare, don't even. This, he's not here, I don't think, but this is a bad section for uh, Malastare. Oh, there you go. Brick Aesthetic says, I'll, I'm be making an Orlando Brick Co. YouTube channel next week with the updates and live streams for. Us all. There you go, Berkesthetics. We will be subscribing as soon as that's available. Uh, Indominus Rex Breakout. We've got the Technic Crane. Mobile Crane, I think is what it's called. Uh, I think the title of the set is covered by the certified sticker. you got the Republic Gunship. You have the amazing Django Fett Slave 1, which was on the Joy of Building last night. So that's pretty cool. Yep, I, I, I had to think about it, John. <laughs> Yeah, the UCS slave one, which is beautiful. So cool. What's the prices on those, Joe? We got eight hundred. Which one's more? I bet. Oh, I know Django's is eight hundred, so I can't quite I see it from here. Django's is the more. Are they the same price? No. No. Six hundred. Six hundred. Okay, it is less. Okay. It's a great price. So it would probably be closer to eight hundred if it was sealed, but yeah. 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 But then sealed for the Jangos would be probably like 1200 or something. Mm -hmm. And Brick Aesthetics says mid to end of July is what we're hoping for for the opening that of Orlando right. Brick Co. So that's pretty cool. We'll be down there when it happens. But uh, we also have Minecraft the Village, Cafe Corner, Brutaka. What was that? The bark no, can you bring that over? Yeah. I can barely see it from across here. So. This one or the other one? Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Nice little flex wow. there. That has the gorgeous phase two Captain Rex. And I've heard I've heard reports that the new Captain Rex figure that they're hoping to make won't look as cool. And I'm sure worried. I mean, so. it's hard to beat this. This is such an amazing That's figure. a really good figure. So. And he's going to come in a $700 set. So it's not like it's going to be cheap. It's not going to be easy to get either. You still have to pretty much invest in it. So. Do you have the Gungan sub? Gungan sub? Joe? Oh, he's putting on a new bottle. Oh, good guy. Is that good guy? He's not good guy. Oh, that's awesome. Bad guy. Oh, it's bad so guy. Cool. Where's the gun gun sub? Do we have the gun gun sub anywhere? Uh, I'm not sure. We, we had one that was sold there earlier. We sold the one from uh, last night. Oh, the old gun gun sub is gone. Sorry about that, Grant. All righty. Let's see here. Um, idea section next, please. We could do that, Sam. That's a good uh, area to look at. How much is the mobile crane? Oh, uh, how much is the certified price on that one there, Stephen? We got, nope, 400. 400. That actually sounds like a great deal for a Lego set with metal pieces. That hook is made out of metal. It's like a steel hook for the end of that crane. It's pretty cool. I believe that all the Western figs will destroy the Blue Coat Army. I, I don't know about that, Willam. That sounds pretty intense. Just like camping. Cool? So some of our Lego idea sets are tucked away over here. Other ones are around the store. I know there's a couple up here, so we'll look at these first. 
Garrett bought it. I just know it. <laughs> Which one? The uh, Gungan sub? Is that the one we're talking about? I made it to episode eight of Dreams. Sorry, Liam Briggs. I wanted to finish that before I went back to our house. LOL. <laughs> so I finished Lego Dreams. And overall, I liked it. But I, there are some uh, problems with it. It's not the best TV show I've ever seen. Uh, that I, I'd say some of the middle episodes were pretty weak. Kind of like not necessarily hard to get through. But I wasn't having an amazing time. Now, some of the characters are great. I think there's a lot of potential. But there's we might have to do a review and uh, share our full thoughts because it's interesting. So the dreams characters are pretty cool designs. If you ask me, yes, they do. There's Sonic the Hedgehog. We got a few of these in stock. We got the Dunder Mifflin office set with all the office characters except for Andy Bernard. So it's I'm I'm always confused why Andy isn't here, but well, you can always just make one, but. Uh, the Friends Apartments, which I don't think is an Ideas set. I think it's a, an accompaniment to the Ideas Friends set. Not Lego Friends, but the Friends TV show, of course. But yeah. The bad characters have great voice actors. Yes, that is absolutely a plus on that show. The, the voice acting is pretty good overall. One of my favorite characters is Albert the Chimpanzee. He is great. So there's a few more Lego Ideas hiding right over here. Got the Lego Dynamite BTS band set. This is, uh, it's it's one of the sets. <laughs> no, it, it's actually well made for what it is. The characters look pretty cool. But uh, I, I just, this, this definitely wasn't made for me. I don't know much about K-pop. I probably should know more about it, but I don't know. Hesitant to just dive in. Got the Everyone is Awesome set. Has some great colors and characters. A very timely, uh, set right now got the fast and furious i don't think this is ideas but it kind of fits within that vein because it's a licensed movie fast and furious dom's charger you got the back to the future delorean here another great set it may look silver in the box but it's actually light gray so it's a little bit less amazing in person but i mean it's still a great design so the building in the dynamite set looks kind of lame that's one of the critiques with it, but it's $100, and you got all these characters, and the little mechanism in there works good, apparently, too. So it's got some reasons why, but yeah. So. What did you think about the Clutch Powers movie? I haven't seen that one, Grant. I need to watch that. Um, I've heard it's good. Uh, Chris says it's one of his favorite Lego movies, so I will try to be watching it at some point. Um, do you have the Lego Dark Knight Rises Bane by any chance? Or the Bat Tumbler. We can check Knight's Custom. We'll go over and look at some DC sets in a second. That's a good uh, good request. Also got the Camaro. This is a really cool looking set. I think it's a great side-by-side uh, -side with the Mustang. I mean, these cars are designed to compete with each other, but uh, I think they're both great. So. <laughs> Morgan was with me when I bought the Camaro. There you go. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard the Camaro's great. I have not seen one built yet. I need to. I, mean, I, that, I could just buy one and build one. But I don't have any more space for sets. So. Yeah, both look great together. Says Jolly Jolly. I bet they do. If you have both of them, that's a that's a good combo. You know what I'm saying? Mark, did you get a chance to see Spider-Man Spider-Verse movie? Hold on. There is a Lego movie scene in it. Yeah, I've heard there's a Lego Spider-Verse uh, and they get to like either see it or get a glimpse of it really quick, and that's pretty funny. So. Classic City. Ooh. Um, let's quickly look for some Tumblr and the uh, Bane figure, but then we'll check that out. Some Classic City would be cool. There's a big fig Bane over here. He's $50 for a used yeah, condition, so which means he's not mint new, but he still should be in good condition. Um, any Banes over here? There's a couple Banes there. You got a $40 Bane and an $11.99 Bane. I'm guessing the $40 one was harder to find. It's a little more collectible. But uh, let's see. Any large tumblers? There's one up here, and I'm not sure which version it is. That one is $250. i am guessing that's the newer version. So there's a tumbler right here. Got the Batwing hanging out up here, too. And that's $250 with 20% off, too, so that's nice. Let's see... Don't think we have any other Tumblr sets available right now. Not in the box right now. It's a tan one. Yeah, that Bane figure had tan on him. He has a dark tan torso, an olive green torso. I think it's dark tan and gray legs. 
So it's a pretty cool figure. I think that might be the one you're looking for, Knights Customs. But if I was you and I had a, another either a device or a browser tab open, I would look up atlbrick.com and look up our Bane figure selection. And you can find out for sure. It'll have more information on the website. I don't really know all the Bane figures that well. So. Let's see, that'd be so cool to motorize the tumbler. That would be cool, Tegan. I wouldn't want to be the one to do it, though. Hey, Mark, I'm going to blow up some dynamite. You're going to blow up some dynamite? What? Yeah. In the store? Yeah, I found a stick of dynamite, so I was going to light it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well, I think this is the first time we've had this in here. I haven't it's seen a cool yet. little set. So if you're into that, I mean, we got it. I know, I was telling him this set wasn't... nothing about K-pop. So. No, we need to do like have a K-pop experience. I don't know how we do that, Thanks. but... I'm okay. We need to go to a K-pop concert. Continue listening to my music, which is film scores, basically. Film That's scores, yeah. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, the good stuff. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. Oh yeah. Let's see, GoPro. Let's see here. He has a YouTube channel. Oh, we're talking about somebody. Yeah. Oh, so uh, the story uh, Grant's talking about. The uh, Lego Spider-Man scenes were apparently animated by a kid who's just like a genius at Lego animation. And uh, I saw something, I saw a news article, I think it was, about it. And it's a very interesting story. So look up the that story and find the information on it. I'm not I'm not 100% sure it's accurate, but it sounds like that was the case. If so, congrats to that kid, because that's awesome. So. Mark, do you have any power functions motors? Not that I know of Lemur Bricks, but we can go take a look at the stuff that we have. Do you also have the Hobbit House available? We can circle back to that, Sam. That's a good request. Hey, will there ever be one of the Atlanta brick stores in Alabama? I don't know, Knights Customs. That would be fun. It is pretty close. Kind of depends if we have the right opportunity arise. There's a bunch of battery packs here for the power functions. Don't see any of the engines or motors yet. Battery packs, a few controllers. So not too much. There's a space base plate dropped on top of it too. So I would say we don't have any motors right now. They are pretty rare. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He is pretty much set for life because he might get contracts in the future. Yeah, I mean, if he's able to do that cool of an animation, then he'll find work anywhere. That's great. So. Let's go. Birmingham Brick Company has a nice ring to it. It sure does, Sam. That is a nice, nice sound. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We, just, we haven't even gotten Orlando open yet. When once that happens, we can start thinking about other locations. I'm sure. Um, I'm not seeing the Hobbit like the the gathering set here. So I think Unexpected we're gathering. That's the one. The Hobbit House. Yeah. I think we have one. We have one? Is it There's floating around? More, um, I think I'm going to get here. But, um, oh. Let's go look. Garrett might know the way. Let's see. It was a very nice bag, and it was more complete than the one I have. Okay. So. I remember we got one in built not too long ago, but we'll check here. <laughs> oh, I guess it's not up here. Attack of the Wards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black Gate. That's pretty sweet. But uh, it doesn't look like the bag ends up here. It might have already gone. You got the Orc Forge, Orc High Army, Wards. Yeah, let's get a look at that. Uh, that is that, oh my God. the figures alone. 400 is not bad. No. This box is like brand new. And also, those figures are very expensive. Yes. Yeah. The amount of Sauron is insane. I mean, why is the, <laughs> my desk getting congregated? I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> People are just piling on to Joe's desk over here. All right. Next is uh, California. This is, I don't know what the context was of that. Still think you should open a store in New Newman, California. Actually, that would be hilarious because Newman and Newman. That's <laughs> pretty funny. It's Daniel. Ooh, yep, Daniel is here. He sure is. Tell, tell Daniel I miss him. Oh, I'll let him know. Hold on. That's Joey. Hey, uh, Daniel. Important news. Uh, Joey from Orlando oh, says he Joey. misses you. Oh, 
Oh, we hi, miss Joey. Joey. <laughs> yeah. Come back anytime. We do miss Joey. Joey's great. Joey. Yeah. Uh, the, so it actually is Joey this time. Joey and Brick Aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, so there's there's a couple people in Orlando in the chat right now just commenting, Dude, so it's great. Well, Why don't they get to work? <laughs> Can you close tomorrow night? Four to eight, Fred. Why? Because Ed's going to go to a concert. <laughs> Ed's going to a concert again? Oh, Put the camera on. Why don't we talk about this not on the live <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'll go. Okay, okay. We're going to let Daniel say no to that off camera. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. Can we see Bricklanta? We checked it out earlier, but we'll head back there. First, we're going to see how Grant's doing. How are you doing, Grant? I'm doing great. Doing how good. are you guys doing? How, how is your Friday going? Yeah. Need to know. The chat can let us know. I mean, hopefully everyone's having a pretty good Friday. Yeah, They're watching Friday. us. Why would you not be happy? Yeah. Weekend's coming up. It's Hawaiian shirt Friday. Nice weather overall. Beautiful weather. Yeah. yeah. So. The Braves just swept the Mets. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. Life is good, right, Grant? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. All right. Thanks, Grant. <laughs> put Daniel on the spot. Oh, yeah. We love to put Daniel on the spot. That's why we call him Danny on the spot. You know what I'm saying? That's his. That's his. Uh, basically his name. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just making that up. But, uh, yeah. Bricklanta looking pretty good. This side, I like, this is my favorite part of town right here. The coffee shop and the radio station, the cinema. Just got some good, good vibes. We're still working on this section here. So quite a bit to be done. Um, Steven did a great job spicing up the Jersey mics. So the nice signage and the uh, subtle colors now highlighted by the little details he added. So it looks good. And uh, Steven is currently working on the Friends Corner building, which should be really special once it's done so keep an eye out for that do you have any lego dc mocks um not right now knights customs we don't we have a star warriors building here which is a cantina so that's pretty cool we used to have a dc uh themed bank building but that is no longer here so we uh rotated out some buildings a long time ago a couple years ago are the Batman 1992 poly bags available? I don't think we have those, but I'll ask Grant. That's an interesting interesting request here. Hey, Mark, tell Garrett I could not wait to open the box, and he did better than ever. I'll let him know, Dan Smith. Garrett did a great job again, as always. Oh, I'm sure he does. Great. This is cool. Does this, this get moved, or is another no, one? It's another one. Another, another one. one. These are awesome, but now we've got a whole fleet of yeah, uh, Star Destroyers. You can build your fleet, guys, for 20% off. It's it's actually cool to, like, this is a nice spot for it because you can just, like, Aww. glide over it. Like, it's like you're flying a spaceship. Watch, oh, we're going to We're gonna do a pass. Ready? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That was, I bet you people are getting dizzy right there. That's great. All right. Um, so, a uh, quick question for um, Joe, I guess. Oh. Are the Batman 1992 poly bags available? No, we, we haven't gotten any of those in yet. I don't know if that's released yet or not. Yeah. Yeah. So soon, is. but not yet. So okay. Transformers Creo micro changers. Let's go see if we can find any of those. We had those once upon a time, a long time ago, but I don't think we have any right now. We'll double check and make sure though. There's the Seinfeld set. There's the Friends Cafe. There's a bunch of uh, Chris McVeigh builds down here. Let's see. Some more Lego stuff over here. Some boats. Some props. This is Knights nice Customs. Yep, that was the TIE Fighter noise. Yep, that's perfect. 38 of 50 likes. Yeah, Lima Bricks is, is right. We are low on likes today, guys. We can do better than that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Garrett's getting on his phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, there's some Creo characters, but I don't think those are Transformers. I think those are Cobra agents. So I don't think those are the right ones we're looking for. There's a few more G.I. Joe stuff up here, too. We only have a few, very few non-Lego stuff. We've got a little bit of He-Man. Pre-packaged. Hold on. Creo Transformers. Here's one, Dawson. This is Thrust. And he's ready to go. You got C-Wing as well. Micro Changers. There you go. C-Wing and Thrust. We did have them, Dawson. That's awesome. A couple more figures. Some Halo figures. 
<laughs> That's definitely the noise the ship makes. Exactly. Um, yeah, so we got a couple of them, but I'm not seeing any more yet. There's a couple of random figures back here. So, yeah. We had at least two of them for you, Dawson. All right, here's a comment from Jelly Joe. Do you have those old parts packs with, like, street signs or printed letter bricks? That old stuff from the 60s and 70s, like, the, in the packages. We actually have a few of those pieces, Jelly Joe, but we haven't gotten those packs in a long time. I think they're just hard to find because most of them would have been popped right open as soon as the, the recipient got them. But we have a number of the classic signs for sale here uh, and even the classic flags, which are super rare and super um, hard to find because they came in the big expensive sets usually or even older stuff. So 60s, 70s, definitely. Um, you got the classic castle flag on the right, $10 for that. You got the American flag, you got the Portuguese flag, I believe. You also have the Coast Guard flag there. The Fort Legorado flag, which has the cavalry sabers. Got the uh, Red Cross and a couple of Lego flags here, too. Um, these are not on the website, I don't think. But uh, just send us an email, Jolly Joe. Daniel or Joe or myself can help you get some of these. Um, the, the flags go for $10 and up. I think it's 10 or 15 except for the Coast Guard one, which is 5 And then you have um, um, $9.99 for some of the parking, uh, $4.99, $7.99, $4.99 for some of these signs. They're a little expensive. They're a couple dollars more than you'd expect, but they are from the 60s and 70s. They're like earliest Lego pieces you can find. So. Oh my gosh, I have to get the Portuguese flag for my wife. Is your wife Portuguese, Jojo? That would be very fitting. That's pretty, pretty hilarious. All right. Is that the Greenland or Portugal flag? That is Portugal, I believe, because uh, Greenland is uh, red and white, I believe. I'm not like an expert on flags, but I do remember that. I think Portugal has the um, green and red and the little uh, Portuguese cross in the center, if I'm not mistaken. Funny how both my brother and I married a Portuguese woman. There you go. <laughs> That's, that is ironic, actually. It was destiny. Wish I still had my old flags. Oh, I hear you, Micah. I am still kicking myself that I didn't buy a classic space set, which had the classic space flag. Because I, that's the one flag I don't have and really want. That, cla you know, classic, you know, yeah, Stephen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's looking good, Stephen. I like the little flowers in the yeah, front of the window. Yeah, the defense pieces and some vibes. If you need something to put inside that building, a hair salon would be super easy. So, just a couple chairs, a, a table for your scissors, and you're good to go. <laughs> Same woman, just, oh, no. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. How long has Atlanta Brick Co. been open? Many years. How long has Atlanta Brick Co. been around, Chris? Eight years. Eight years. That's that's a while. Lena Bricks is saying Nexo, 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 Nexo. He's spamming the Nexo Night emoji. We have a Nexo Night emoji. Oh, Mark, can you ask Grant when his last day is? I don't want to ask him that. It's so sad. Do we have a Grant, you're leaving us. I didn't know. I what? I'll be back. Every now and then, you probably won't see me on live streams because I'll be back on weekends if I do come yeah. back. Yeah. I think it's either the 8th or the 11th. Of this month or next month? August. August. Okay, I'm not saying, gosh, that's, Sorry, that's coming up. Month. That's important. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah. So. Well, well, early, well, early August. We'll miss you terribly, Grant. I'll miss you guys. You, you're yeah. going on to greener pastures, yes. bigger and better I'll be things. Back. I'll be back. Yeah. Every now and then, it'll make it even more special. Yeah, when yeah. when your life crumbles around you, you can always come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't so. I don't actively wish for people to fail. I just wish that they would come back. That's all I'm saying, you know? Yeah. No. We'll make you a huge like a uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, obelisk. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah, yeah. Just a giant. It's a grand monument. Yeah. It, 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 grand, grand tombstone will be extra grand. Yeah. Grant, they grow up so fast. Yes, they do, GoPro. It's pretty sad. What's the Nexo night? Oh no. Joey, come on, Joey. Oh, do we have to educate you, Joey? Are you are you seriously don't, not knowing what a next night is? I bet you he's leading me on. He's he's fooling me. He's bamboozling me. How do I get the next night emoji? Oh, Grant. So the emojis are something you unlock on our memberships program. 
Uh, so for as little as 99 cents a month, you can sign up for our memberships program, get those emojis and uh, unlock some other. I mean, we often post members only videos, too. So depending on your membership level, you can get those, too. So definitely, I kid, I kid. Yeah, we're, I was walking towards next tonight's like a gullible fool, Joey. You had me going. Anyway, um, yeah, so definitely consider joining. It's it's the first tier, which is the ABC Superfans tier. is 99 cents. That unlocks all the emojis. I think there's like nine or ten of them now. And it gives us all these cool faces. Next tonight emoji. They're a lot of fun. So. Five more likes. What? Are y'all open on Sunday? We sure are. But it's less hours because... Sunday can be a little quieter of a day, especially in the morning. So we open from 1 to 6. So 1 to 6 on Sundays, 10 to 8 every other day. So. Yep. At least Caitlin and John came back. Yeah, the, we, yeah. Get, we get people visiting for the summer. I hope yeah. Grant comes back oh, every no, now and then. Yeah. Yep. He's been here too long to abandon us completely. Right. All righty. Uh, five more likes. Uh-oh. What can we do to get five more likes here? Let's see. Beg. Yeah, beg. <laughs> please, please like, like the video. We got wildflower bouquets. Please. Or oh, cosmic cardboard adventures. Look, Baby Yoda wants you to like the video. Yeah, Baby Yoda wants you to like the video. Come on, come on, like the stream. Come on. See? You don't want to make Baby Yoda sad. Look, look, if, if you don't like the video, he'll be all sad. <laughs> he'll be sad. He'll be so look at sad. So sad. Oh, like the stream, guys. <laughs> no. We want you to wear the armor. And actually, I secretly want to not get enough likes because one day... Just one. I wouldn't have to wear the next night armor. What if I put it on? If you put it on instead, mm -hmm. it would be fun. That way I could Extra see it. I could. I didn't get to see it when I'm wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't. You, you can see it on another, another persona. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, hey, uh, let me, let us know in the chat if you want Grant to wear it instead of me. I'm letting you guys decide because it's you know it's your reward. But uh, let us know because Grant is willing to take the bullet for me. How nice of him. Have all the employees like the stream? That's that's one possibility, Dawson. I'm not going to make them, but if they wanted to, they could. Baby Yoda peeks into my windows at night and haunts me. Oh, no, John. That's terrible. Oh, dear. Mark, look at the comments. I'm here. I'm reading the comments. Make Daniel wear the armor? I, I don't think Daniel would be caught dead wearing the armor. I don't think so. I could ask him, though. I could go check. Let me, let me check. Hold on. Let's see. We're gonna, gonna ask him Daniel something. Yeah. Ask him if he's gonna close tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him about that too. I'll be like, <laughs> Daniel, got two questions for you. Got you, okay, Joe? You're like, you said Daniel. You look like an NPC over here. What's going on? Let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> MC Master Grant. There you go. Daniel has worn the armor before. He has. What? Where, where's Dan? He's not here. Emmy, where'd Daniel go? I have no idea. You have no idea? Okay, well, we'll give up on Daniel. He he knew we were coming. He escaped. Mm. Mark, do everything at once. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, I'm not going to run. That definitely uh, messes with the camera a little bit. Uh, somebody was asking earlier about unusual minifigures, basically non-minifigure minifigures. And uh, we have the uh, Fabuland characters in pretty good quantities here. So if you need a, a cat, a pig, a bunny, a bulldog, a bear, a lamb, any of those, we've got them. <laughs> oh, no. Joe doing the uh, Scooby-Doo impression over there. Mark, look at Geology Joe's comments. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I got, I got that one. What was the last one? I think this is harder than it looks. Be persistent. Oh, yeah. Sorry. If I, if, if I missed your comments, just read it again. GoPro says, three more. Someone told me to like. Oh, no. <laughs> Happy Friday, guys. Good to see you, Ben. Happy Friday. The weekend is almost here. We've got uh, 45 minutes down on the stream. Still got a good 15 minutes left. Plenty of time to get those last few likes. So if anyone's looking for anything particular, let me know. I think Dawson might have had some comments. Grant must wear the armor. I do like the idea of Grant wearing some armor. I could only scroll back up so high, and I didn't see the comment Joe left that we're talking about, but I'm sure it was good. 
there's a bunch of trade that just came in. We'll have to look at that later in a haul video. If any of you guys have gotten these keychains yet, they look really good. I love the cactus guy because he's got these rubbery arms. Super cool. She's so squishy. I got to go, guys. Bye. Take care, Knights Customs. You have a great day. Enjoy your Friday afternoon. Any classic Lego? Yeah, let's look at Classic City. We were talking about that earlier. That's a good request. Mark, I saw two more Transformers Creo. Oh, really, Dawson? I didn't see them. That's awesome. Well, we've got those two then, too. I think we had, that makes it four, right? So, yeah. Send us an email. For some of us, it's always the weekend. That's a nice mentality to have, Dan Smith. Classic Lego. There's a classic fuel truck over there, or work truck. That's pretty cool. There's a Futron ship. That's nice. 129 for that one. There's a little fire truck back there in a certified box. That's fun. You got the sealed steam shovel, which looks like a 70s set. That's pretty awesome. Or very early 80s. Got a recycling truck right below that. That's nice. One more. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's the classic hospital set. That's really cool. Everybody get ready to spam next. So, oh, no, no. I think I just feel it. I can feel it coming down. Any Lego shell stations? That's a good question, Frank. Let's see. We've had them in the past. I don't know if we still do. I see there's some race, like dragster race cars. There's like a, a fire truck, looks like. Got another little race car down there. Oh, they're all dropping the next so night emojis. Oh, no. There's a classic house set. That's nice. It's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's start moving to moving over to next. So let's let's go. Let's go. All righty. Let's head over. I like the stream on my laptop. There you go, Grant. Excuse me, guys. A uh, successful day of not missing the armor like number. There you go. So I decided to come check up on it and look at everything. And I look at the comments and just see a butt ton of necks. <laughs> That's what the emojis look I'm like. I have yeah. to assume that that means you got to armor up. Dog. Yep, here we go. Armor up, dog. Armor up. Oh, yeah, let me set this up. Armor up. Yeah, here we go. Turn this around. Make oh, sure we're facing oh, the right direction. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness! Oh, look, that's beautiful. Can you see me? <laughs> sure, right here. Alrighty. Sorry to annoy you guys. There's actually a lot of people in my office today. I was just I'm taking usually, a quick snack break. I'm sorry. Sure <laughs> to do a ninja fight, actually. I'm so lonely so. here. It's cold and lonely. <laughs> and some people are filming videos, oh, but it's Daniel. fun. Alrighty. You know what's funny? This shirt actually matches my next night. See that? Uh, it just uh, all matches. <laughs> it blends together like it was meant to be. It's great. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that right, Dan? Yeah. You're still live? Oh, yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. Yep, we're still live. Why do you think I'm talking so loud? Hey, Daniel, how are you doing today? I didn't say anything about how y'all were acting like idiots. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 52 likes. That's awesome, guys. Thank I'll you. I'll be right back out and finish with a million. You know, Steven's having his, his mandatory apple, apple break. break. He's got to keep those doctors yeah, away, those man. Those doctors off my back. Those dead gum doctors. Uh, we, we love doctors. Don't forget. Ah, beach wear. Yeah, we're doing um the uh, it's Hawaiian shirt Friday, as you can see by multiple employees wearing Hawaiian shirts today. So except for Ben, because Ben is uh. This is actually a funny shirt. Dude. I'm like half participating. <laughs> Not my yeah, hey, you're choosing to wear it though. Oh, yeah. You could have told me you were wearing our shirt. We could have matched. Uh, we could have, yeah, because we're both left lefty pride, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we got lefty. Got yep, that's that's great. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever, you guys. Sure. Just, yeah. Whatever. Mm. Is it Hawaiian shirt day today? It sure is, Tegan. Uh, many Fridays in the summer are designated as Hawaiian shirt day. So we are celebrating our Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Tell Chris he has bad ergonomics. I'll, I'll let him know, Geology Joe, that uh, he's probably there temporarily. So, Oh, there is a shirt. Speaking of shirts, you need any cool shirts? We got cool shirts here. Look at that Black Falcon. 
Look at that shroomkin. Really nice ones. Ben got ripped off. I think Ben is refusing to join in the fun. I don't know what's hey, uh. Got a Star Wars shirt on, so, so Ben, yeah. can you? Oh, Star Wars is great, but why you just don't like Hawaiian shirts? So it's um, not a Hawaiian shirt guy. Yeah, not really. Okay. I guess. I guess. What if? I think I talked about getting you a Hawaiian shirt. Would you wear a Hawaiian shirt if I got you one? One day. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah. Okay, just to be nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll time. see if we can work it out. <laughs> Any more vertical supports in the case? Um, I don't think there are any since last time there, Robert. We did have some gray ones. The gray ones are a little expensive. And then the yellow ones are $199. You still got those. Still got the dark blue ones over here for $199 as well. Um, and we got the lime ones for $199 too. So they haven't been restocked yet. I'll have to mention that we need to put more out for you, Robert. I love that shirt, Mark. Oh, thanks, Jelly Joe. We appreciate it. New Transformers Rise of the Beast movie is out in theaters tomorrow. That sounds pretty cool, Dawson. I don't know if I'll go see it, but hopefully it does well. Go see the Transformers movie. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of movies coming you out. Know it's good. Spider Verse. Right? I've heard. I have not seen it. Go watch it. It's so good. Yeah, Spider Verse. So yeah. I'm I'm one of those people that needs to go watch it. So oh, I'll be doing it soon. Go watch it. I heard there was Lego Spider Man in there, and that just means it's worth watching. So yes. good. It's so it's such a good. Movie. But mm -hmm. I'm excited for Transformers. Yeah, Transformers should be good too. In Hawaii, do they wear Georgia shirts? <laughs> they they could. What is a Georgia shirt? Is it a brave shirt or a Falcon shirt? That does that sounds lame. That's pretty lame. Sorry, Falcons fans. We're... Mark needs to make a Marcel shirt, like a like a oh like a horror movie poster with Marcel carrying an axe. That'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Joe would wear that all day. I would not wear that. You wouldn't wear? Oh, Laura would probably say no. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. He's got to be. Joe's gonna be careful. Alrighty. Well, we still have eight minutes left. Oh, Ben Sutherland says Spider Verse was great. That's awesome. Bulldog shirt. That's there. You go, Robert. That's a Georgia shirt. That is a classic Georgia shirt. Braves or Bulldogs? Yeah, I forgot about the Bulldogs. They're they're a classic Georgia team and very uh, much on the national stage. They do really well. So, sick and woo woo woo. Exactly. Garrett has a do rag on. I think technically it's like a beanie hat, but it kind of got that do rag look to it. Ooh, that's a nice poly bag. That Doctor Strange. That portal is cool. We could have used that a few years ago when we made those scenes. Bye, Marcus. Even hope you're having a good day today at work. Please be safe and careful. Will do, Dawson. Thank you very much. You have a great Friday. Go Jackets. Okay, well, I mean, the Yellow Jackets are classic team, too. But Ben Sutherland says, go dogs. There you go. I'm, I'm more of a Bulldogs fan a little bit. I'm not a huge college watch guy. Like, I'll, I'll just kind of keep an eye on it when it gets to the playoffs. But oh, Sam Williamson says, go Tigers. And so Joe would say that, too. Undefeated two years in a row. That is right, Nixus. George has got the the stats to back it up now. Hot take. Far From Home is better than Across the Spider-Verse. There you go, Grant. I did like Far From Home, too. And No Way Home was fun, too. Let's go Florida Panthers for the Stanley Cup. Hey, those hockey teams. Got to watch out for those hockey teams. You know what I'm saying? I haven't watched a good game of hockey in a long time. I need to do that. Do you still have a Rancor? There's a question, Robert. Let's go look for Rancors. Let's go Rancor hunting. Are the Astros better than the Braves? I have no idea, Frank. Um, that They're all playing right now, so I think they're figuring that out. So. Do you have any Exo Force sets? I think we only have a few of those next tonight. Well, let's check on that Rancor. And we haven't even really been in the Star Wars section today, so we can kind of do a quick scan while we're here. Go Gators! I know our friend Jacob is a big Gators fan. Let's go Tampa Bay Rays. Keep up that winning. There you go, Brad P. I remember the Tampa Bay Rays. There you go. There's the Rancor, $180. It's pretty expensive, but man, is that a cool monster. I think it's worth it. I've given up on the Detroit Tigers. Oh, yeah. that's uh, Some Detroit teams are struggling. I think the football team is actually poised to do really well this year. We'll see. The pro football team. 
They are now the Braves have their moments. Yeah, exactly. The Braves they're like, you know, hit and miss a little bit. Sometimes they'll do great, sometimes they'll be like, eh, have a little tough time. I think uh pro baseball is pretty competitive right now, from what I'm hearing. So I have returned for the end. There you go, Emmy. Thank you for joining us for a few minutes. The Braves are way better than the Rays. That's I would make that assessment as well, but yeah. This channel is about sports discussions now. Yes, it is, Geology Joe. Yes, it is. Excuse me, guys. Yeah. Sorry. One second. Oh, oh, sorry, Kayla. <laughs> Let's see. There was a request here. Exafor sets. Let's go look for Exafor sets. That was what we were looking for earlier. Let's see. <laughs> How much for that? Arc Clone Battle Pack. Oh, uh, mm, I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure it's expensive. Nexus. We'll circle back and look for it. First, we got a couple X of Force sets we can show next night here. Got a couple X of Force figures left. We should restock these. I think we have more. Um, we've got the blue mech from the Sentai Fortress. A very rare, hard to find one. $69.99 for the lone mech. And then it's $130 for that and the workshop that it uh, rests in. So super cool. Um, rig for it to rest in. Got the $80 um, uh, defense tank. Mobile defense tank, I think it's called. And then you got the Chameleon Hunter, the $40 one back there. Golden Guardian, $120. Um, $40 Iron Predator. A couple Sonic Phantoms here for $40. I can't, I can't believe I remember all the names of these sets. These came out in 2004, 2006. I found a full Death Star for 200 Is that a good deal? I would say so, Robert. I can see them going for a lot more than that. As long as it's got all the figures and instructions, you, you might have a really good deal there. Just make sure you're buying from a reputable person. It's to be careful. If it's like uh, um, eBay or something like that, that's pretty good. Facebook Marketplace a little more sketchy. You may want to go and get it in person. So, yeah. If you live near Macon, I highly recommend the Macon, ba Macon Bacon Baseball Games. <laughs> There's so much fun and a whole lot cheaper than a Braves game. Making bacon. That sounds pretty fun. Oh, Horntail Bricks says, can I see the brick heads that are available? We can, Horntail. That's a great request. Thank you very much. No worries, Nixonite. I love Exoforce. I'm always happy to cover that. Unlike Nixonite sets. <laughs> we need a UCS Death Star. Yeah, absolutely, Grant. That would be a tremendously successful set. I would love to see that. It's almost time to say goodbye to Mark and all his friends. Oh, yeah. We should have a goodbye jingle. I need to make that video, so, like a short video, so that we can just hit that button. You'll see the happy closing song, and we're all dancing, and then, ta-da. That'd be nice. Who's laughing? Caitlin, you laughing at my ideas? You don't like happy jingles and dancing? Are you just a funny dud? Is that what you're saying? I think it's a great idea. Okay, okay. I'm going to stop arguing with you. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a set in there. Is it what now? Oh, it's just the box. Oh, yeah. Right, it's I just the box for it. Somebody had shoved the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a number of good brick kits here. I do like that Lord of the Rings uh, pair right here. you got Gollum and uh, Frodo, I believe. It's pretty cool. Some Harry Potter, Star Wars. Bunch of good ones. Do you have any Brickmania or Battle Brick sets? We sure do. A A dash B bricks. Got a number of them over in our um, military section. We got a little spot for them. But we are just about out of time. We probably won't be able to circle back and look at those today. But uh, definitely, you know, you can scroll back and find them on this stream or many of the other streams we've done. So, thanks guys for tuning in. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be doing more streams. Next week, we got our Between the Studs podcast coming out this Saturday. Um, a whole bunch of fun videos. We'll see you guys then. Take care and bye bye. Hitting that in broadcast.